the Morvan show, we bought one or two bits, as you will have seen, uh, from Wendy's little shopping hall uh, yesterday. Or, um, and one of the things we bought was this, this little thing here, which is the uh, Thule sort of um, shoe organiser. Let's keep getting you in the, the bright sunshine there. Sorry about that. Um, but the shoe organiser... I thought it would go very nicely just inside the door here, which it does, and it zips up around the bottom. Let me just pop you down there and show you uh, how that works. So, these are the bits. That zips there. This rolls up and you can store that up the top there but it gives you quite a nice um, lot of shoe storage inside that little nice little container. But how to fix it on to the uh, how to fix it onto the wall there? Well, um, on the stand uh, where we bought it, they had. Uh, some little sort of fixings these these little fixings here um, that are supposed to screw on to the either the side of the van so they can go on the outside and it can hang up um, or on a wall on the inside of the van but what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to screw into the worktop um, in a visible place. More about cosmetics, really. Um, but I did want it to be here. Um, so if I take that off and show you, these are the straps that uh, go go into the, the little um, things that fit on the wall. But it would then be... I'd need the, the straps to be fixed up here in midair, which is never going to work. So I decided that um, what I could do is fit this little bit of... Um, I happen to have this for some reason. It's a bit of L-shaped uh, aluminium. Um, so what I've done is I've cut it to the length here just to keep it back out of the way. And I put up behind there, I put about 10 screws that go into the bottom of this worktop. It's very, very strong on there. The screws are only tiny, but if you put a lot of screws in, you get all of that um, pressure spread across. Then I put two little um, coach bolts in um, I've put a nut behind and a nut in front and it just leaves enough room to fit the uh, the little lugs that are on there onto there very nicely so um, that, that just sort of slides down the door there and then if I, I just have to stretch that across a bit we need two hands for that. Let me pop you on there for a moment while I do this bit. That's it, yeah, it just needs stretching, stretching right across. Because I wanted it to be sort of firm and secure on there so that if we pulled it down or put heavy shoes in, and you'll notice that um, actually just come down to the floor level in there it's actually a perfect fit we weren't absolutely sure when we uh, when we were looking so when we first looked at it um, we gave it a well we measured well the, the girl on the stand 
uh, measured it for us. And then I came back and measured the space. Uh, maybe it'll fit, maybe it won't. But I took a chance. Um, and that uh, shoe tidy or shoe organiser, um, that was £32. It's a thule, it's very good quality. Um, really, really like it. And it, if I show you, I'm just going to. Um, roll this bit up so this bit the cover actually goes up and then no nope. that's the wrong way around where does that go I've missed out on where the so that, <laughs> that rolls up, and then it has uh, you, you roll that up into a ball, and then it has a couple of little straps, like so. so this rolls up here, and then it's got an elasticated strap underneath that then comes and hooks on to there. Um, you've also got some sort of webbing uh, or cargo net type stuff to, to pop up other things into. And you can use it to store pretty much anything, really. So, bit of a bit of a good bit of kit, that. Really like it. And um, round of applause to me for doing such a neat job on the DIY, I think. Anyway, that's it from me today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, if you would like this, Give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you get reminders for whenever we upload a video. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.